Hello and welcome to Tech Baffle. James Earth here and today we're going to learn how you can install the Google Play Store on the Amazon Fire HD tablet. It doesn't matter what size of Amazon Fire HD tablet you've got, it will work on all versions. So let's go ahead and go into settings and security. Now the first thing you need to do is tick add apps from unknown services or sources, you get the idea. So that basically means that we can install the APK files. Now I've put all links in the description so you don't have to search this for yourself. Just head over to the links in the description and you'll be sorted. So the first thing we need to do is go over to the uh, Silk browser and I've got everything that we need listed up here in the tabs. So the first thing we need to do is download the Google Services Framework APK. So go ahead and do that. I'm just going to do one thing at a time so we don't get mixed up with different things because everything has very similar names. Everything is related to Google Play and all that sort of thing. So, yep, this is the first thing we're going to do. So go ahead and press OK. So that has done it already. That was quick. So, press open and scroll down a bit and press install. App installed. Sorted. Done. Okay, next step, let's go over to the second link. I've put all the links numbered as well, so this is link number two. Okay, Google Play Services APK. Let's go ahead and download that. Same thing, okay. This one's taking a little bit longer. Shouldn't take too long, but it's a larger file than the previous one. 43 megabytes. That's one thing, make sure you've got enough space. Don't install this if you haven't got enough space, just say 100 megs, you need at least 100 megs. A gigabyte would be nice, 5 gigabytes even better, put it that way. It, it doesn't need a whole lot of storage to install all of this, but it's better if you have more, especially if you're going to be installing lots of Google Play apps, let's be honest. So, what have we got? So, yeah, 10 seconds, let's go. So just tap that. Scroll down, press install. position it's a bit better, I can't, I can't really see the dark bits of the screen so much. Is that a bit better? You can see me more, hi, but I don't think that's actually any better is it really? I could turn the lights off, I don't know. It doesn't have to look like a cinematic masterpiece, it's just a tutorial that works, well hopefully. installed I'm just fiddling around with the lights I don't think it really makes a whole lot of difference so okay let's go to the third link in the description and go ahead Google account manager download that this one should be a little bit quicker to download than the previous one see easy scroll down again install this is all very repetitive but this should be able to get your Amazon Fire all hooked up to the Google Play Store, which is what we want at the end of the day. Okay, finally, Google Play Store APK download. There's previous versions as well, but just click the one at the top. Okay. Just wait that for that to download. Four seconds, three seconds. Cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and open that. Next. Install. Yep, you can see my face very well. Hi. See, I don't even need a front-facing camera. You can just see me looking like... Yes, okay. So, if all is well, we should be able to scroll down. And there we do. There we do. So I can't even speak. I'm so excited that we've got the Google Play Store. I can't even speak. So yes, we have Google Play. This is the app of glory. Yes, we. this is the app that we've been wanting for a long, long time. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is it's just going to go through a few things. It just needs to add your Google account because to use the Google Play Store uh, services, you need your Google Play account. So I'll just say, go ahead and do that. Okay, so once you've done that, you have to, have to agree with the terms and services and privacy policy. Checking info again. This is basically what you have to do when 
you get a new phone or new tablet anyway and you have to agree to the terms and that before you get the Play Store. Uh, you've got an option to back up to Google Drive. I'll just leave that on. You can decide whether you want that or not. And then here we go. Hooray! Google Play, a new home for apps and games. Yes, let's get started. So there we go. We have the fully fledged Google Play App Store on our Amazon Fire HD. Now that you've downloaded the Google Play Store, you probably have loads of apps that you want to install. So here's the top 10 apps that you can't get on the Amazon App Store that you can get right now on Google Play. So, the first one is Google Maps. Just type that in. So Google Maps, you know what Google Maps is. Let's go ahead and install that. And I will actually be installing and opening all the apps just to prove they actually work as well. Otherwise, this whole thing would be a bit pointless. So yes, I'll just go through all the apps and download and show you that they work perfectly. Just like they would on any sort of normal Amazon, not Amazon, Android tablet. Now another thing, I've moved my lights a bit so they shouldn't be reflecting in the screen. So hopefully you should be able to see what's going on. But later on in this video, I'll go over an app which should make videos look a whole lot nicer on this tablet. So here we go, Google Maps. Just wait a few seconds, there you go. We have the fully featured Google Maps with Wally. Where's Wally? Wally has invited you on an April Fool's World Tour. The ironic thing about this, I won't bother this because... It's not going to be relevant for you because this video is not going to go out on April Fool's Day. Because, you know, editing and stuff. I mean, it might do, I don't know, I don't think it will. It's already like 9 o'clock. I swear April Fool's is like a morning thing. So next up, an app that you might not have heard of before, but I think it's a really useful app, especially if you have documents that you want to take a picture of. I don't know if you've ever tried taking a picture of documents before and... I don't know, they just don't come out very well, do they? They come out all looking all kind of weird and sort of wavy looking. I can't type because I'm not really concentrating. Uh, Adobe Scan. There we are. Now the whole point of this app is basically it takes a picture, or you take a picture of an app of a document that you want to scan, and it turns it into a nice sort of PDF. Basically, that's basically what it does. It sort of turns it into a nice document, so you can read it really easily. So this is a great way to get all your documents on your tablet easy to read. Let's go ahead and open that. I don't know if I'll be able to try it as of now. Uh, I need to sign in. Now I haven't actually got a document necessarily to show you, but here is some crinkled up demo print thing for my printer. Uh, let's just hold it in front. You can't see this because it's too. The document is too big. But say, I don't know, say we get out of this. Say if you're just going to use the normal camera, where is it, here we go, the picture will look, it will look like this, which isn't necessarily that great. So on Adobe Scan, if we go back to where we were, it's converted it into that, which is far more usable. Obviously it works better on documents that aren't all scrunched up, but you get the idea, it looks a lot nicer. So I'm sure you're fully aware of the dating app called Tinder. Now you can't get this on the Amazon App Store, but you can get it on the Play Store. Now I don't need to demonstrate how Tinder works, you you, you know what Tinder is. If you don't know what Tinder is, then you probably don't need Tinder, so that's basically what it is. So, number five, we have Gmail. Again, I don't need to demonstrate Gmail, I was going to demonstrate all these apps, but I mean, I'm not going to waste your time. So, six, Google Chrome. You know what Google Chrome is. I mean, to be fair, the Silk browser on Amazon isn't actually that bad. It's pretty good, to be fair. But, I mean, the original Google Chrome, you can't go wrong. It's probably a little bit faster. So, yes, Google Chrome. We all love Google Chrome. Next up, if you have Virgin TV, then a popular app called Virgin TV Go isn't available on the Amazon App Store, but it is available on Google Play. Again, for copyright reasons, I probably can't actually use this app. But you get the idea. If you have Virgin TV, if you don't have Virgin TV, obviously this is useless, but I'm not sure if Sky Go is available. Let me have a look. Do, 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 do. App Store. 
Okay, so we'll search for Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't, that's one thing. They don't actually have Sonic the Hedgehog free version on the Amazon uh, App Store, but they do have the free version on Google Play. I actually covered the Sonic the Hedgehog app previously in another video. I was looking for Skygo, wasn't I? Yeah, you can get the Skygo on here, but for Virgin TV, there's nothing. Virgin. You get a remote control app, which is pointless really I mean it's alright but it's not brilliant I actually did download that but it it has a TV guide it's not that great to be honest but it has a TV guide which is useful so up next we have the app which would make this video look a whole lot more pretty which is A to Z screen recorder I've used this on previous Android related videos before and I can't fault it I think it looks absolutely brilliant Plus, it doesn't seem to have any watermarks or anything on the videos, and the videos look high quality. I mean, how can you possibly go wrong? And the good thing about it is you can change the settings if you want 1080p, if you want 720p. It's very versatile. You can do exactly what you want on it, and it's very simple, which is basically what you want. So here, yeah, what it does, it adds a little menu to the side of your screen. So what you do, you just press record, start now, Three, two, one, boom. Yes, we have live recording on the screen. So no matter what I do, with posh video editing skills of my, yeah, amazing video editing skills, you should be able to see this video right now. Just like that. Even records my voice alone. I mean, what more could you possibly want? So I mentioned Sonic the Hedgehog already, but yes, Sonic the Hedgehog, if you want the free version, that's worth getting if you have the Google Play Store. Of course, if you play that game a lot, you probably want the ad-free version, so you might as well just get the full version anyway. But if you want the free Sonic the Hedgehog app, head over to the Google Play Store. So next up, we have Snapchat. We all know what Snapchat is. If you don't know what Snapchat is, it's basically an app which... Uh, well, how would you really describe Snapchat? It's kind of an app where you send photos or whatever and they they basically self-destruct so you can set like a certain amount of seconds and your photos disappear after that. Now I think the main selling point of Snapchat is the filters. Most people just use Snapchat just to get the dog filter and add it to their profile picture on Facebook. How can you ever go wrong with that? I mean just like that basically also if you want to follow me on snapchat i'm on at tech baffle go ahead and do that yes if you if you're downloading snapchat on your amazon fire tablet go ahead and follow me at tech baffle now one thing that's just popped up on this you might also like thing is facebook Lite. i'm not sure if you can get that on the um on the amazon app store or not but it's basically a lightweight version of facebook so you know how facebook i mean it, it just takes over everything so yeah it basically is just a lightweight version doesn't take up as much storage probably saves battery life all that sort of stuff what does it even say it says sell it to me this version of facebook uses less data and works in all network conditions basically it just uses less data it's not so heavy as the normal facebook app is so that's worth downloading uh, let me have a check is that on the amazon app store facebook light so it's l-i-t-e not l-i-g-h-t doesn't look promising it's trying it's trying mm. come on come on Amazon App Store I mean that's one thing just 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 to bear in mind I mean if you get the Google Play Store it's so much faster what, what I don't even know what it's doing at this point um okay then don't don't do anything I don't think it has it if it does have it let me know so I've gone. I've probably gone beyond 10 apps by now, but I've lost count. Anyway, the most important app, which is the app which you need right now. I'm not even going to say that you might need this app. You definitely, definitely. If you're watching this video, you need this app. Yes, we all know what it is. It's YouTube. You just get, just get this app. I've already downloaded it. I've, I've so wanted this YouTube app so much. You can watch all your favourites, including. Have you noticed how random my recommended feed is? Fair enough. Also, this isn't even my YouTube account. What am I doing? Somehow on that other account, I have 12 subscribers. I'm not sure who is subscribed to that channel. But don't subscribe to that channel, whatever it was. 
Subscribe to Tech Baffle instead. Here we go. Yes, Tech Baffle. I am logged in. Now my recommended feed looks a whole lot more normal. Just put it that way. Yep, just to prove that YouTube actually works. Do 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 do. Yes, it does work. And also, it's worth noting, it does play it in all the way to 1080p. Regarding 4K videos, I tried 4K videos on the Amazon Fire HD. Funny enough, this, this video reviewing this tablet. Fortunately, unfortunately, my editing software just doesn't like 4K video. I really want to upload in 4K, but my editing software just doesn't like it. And to be honest, it just it delays videos. So at the moment, all videos in 1080p until further notice. Take twice a week, you know what to do. Drop a like, comment, subscribe, and ding that bell icon too. Thanks for watching. Get all the info you need at techbaffle.com.